Oh, Stick of Swords here. And then we are going to start on a special Christmas helmet. It's Go Kai Christmas. Um, it is what, November 7th. So if I have this done by Christmas, that would be a miracle. Um, but it's possible the back's not even done yet. But it looks good, so we'll be fine. Um, if you don't know, this is just when Gokai Silver uses Gokai Red and Green's keys at the same time, and it's just literally red and green's helmet split down the middle. Um, so, I don't know, it should be fun. It's the only really Gokai helmet I don't have, so... can't think of a better time to make it, so let's get to it. That's the front sanded. Um, started getting a little bit of ripping it up here, so we uh, didn't get too crazy with it. We'll prime it, see what we're working with. Uh, I still need to get the back putty and all that, but these backs aren't complicated, so it should be a big deal. But let's get some primer on it. Okay, definitely gonna have to fill here, clean this up a bit. The emblem needs to fill a little bit around here. Not sure what. Not wrong when it printed, but certainly gonna need a little work. But it's getting there. I think it looks cool. It's weird. We'll have to figure out where the line is, where it changes. I guess it's where the tip is, but uh, yep, we'll get there. Okay, we got that sanded. Um, we just started on the back kind of, so it's probably gonna look a little rough after the primer on it, but the uh, front's shaping up okay. I'd like to see when we get primer on it with the uh, emblem starts looking like. Uh, it's kind of chewed up, so that's the plan. Uh, this is my downdraft table that I just uh, put together here. And it works pretty well to contain the dust, mostly. I just hooked up to a vacuum. Yeah. So far, I've just been getting dust on uh, the front of my shirt. So that's not too bad. It's better than being all over the garage. But yeah, so that's what this new weird looking thing is. Um, probably going to be using it from now on. Unless I'm doing something wild that doesn't fit in there. But I should probably rethink my life at that point. But we will get this primed here. All blown off and then primed, and then uh, see how it looks. Okay, I see a couple places you probably could sand it a little better. In here looks a little funky. Yeah, it looks funky, but it's actually kind of smooth. I don't know. It looks like you got ripped up here a little bit. I know, I know there's something weird happened up top, but oh, we'll get a prime and then we'll patch those. Uh, and the back, the back's gonna need another. It'll be slatter of spot putty. It's got couple layer shifts in it uh right in here as you can see but but i don't know we'll see maybe i actually did something good for once when i sanded it but i doubt it okay not looking bad honestly uh, better than i thought it was going to be there's a couple little tips on the emblem we'll take care of uh, might look into digging out the detail lines uh, before we start patching anything else. And there's also a spot on the back here where the uh, supports still were that I need to get off. I keep seeing it while I'm sanded and I'm like, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. And I never get it. So, uh, back, like I said, we're going to take care of this layer shift. Not a big deal. Should be like another round of putty. But uh, yeah, I'll let that dry and we'll get back to it. It's also Black Friday, so I think we're doing okay. We might have this done by Christmas. 
you might see this before Christmas. I hope. Okay, got it sanded. The back's coming along. Um, might need a little more work after this. The front, we might have to touch up the emblem a little bit more, but uh, I think it's about time to start wet sanding that, so we'll see. And we'll redig out the detail lines. But uh, we'll catch the back up and we'll be good to go. been drying a little bit. The back doesn't look too bad. Still going to do another coat of probably some, fill some of the pits, but should be okay. The front emblem looks all right so far. I'm going to let it sit a little longer because uh, I went a little heavy on it, but we'll see. Hopefully next we'll move on to wet sanding. Okay, with Go Kite Christmas here, we're just going to light sand really light. Uh, probably the whole thing, kind of. At least get where you put putty. For sure, places we messed up when we were carving out some lines and stuff. Uh, you know, it is what it is. And then for the back, we'll probably just sand the whole back. And hopefully, this should be good enough. We can put another coat of primer on both these and we'll wet sand it tomorrow. And we might actually get this done before Christmas. So, <laughs> that's the dream. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to paint it yet. I'm going to do green first or red first, but let's get. Uh, Get it ready to paint. I'll figure that out. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I had to fix my stupid sander in the middle of that, but. Thing looks good and they can still see some of the red but that that's on purpose because <laughs> we're trying to fill the low spots and bring up a little bit so that should be fine we'll, i'll blow these off here we'll get another coat of primer i think we will be on track for a merry christmas Or Merry Holidays, whatever, whatever you prefer. I mean, he's just called Gokai Christmas. You can call Gokai Holidays, whatever you want. But here we go. Okay, I think we're looking good. The back looks good, the front looks good. I mean, there's a couple little things, but that's just the nature of it. Uh, once we get paint on it and cleared, Probably won't notice them. It's um, kind looks a little messy, but and there's, there's like a webbing here um, where the visor's are supposed to go. We'll see what it looks like. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can cut it. Shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, yeah, a little bit looks okay. Best, best. I mean, we're gonna get. And um, except back looks fine. Everything looks pretty good. So, um, right on there. We will let this dry. We'll wet sand it and we will move on to probably the funnest part of uh, Gokai Christmas will be the painting. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. Um, definitely going to, I don't know. I'm going to say put the green down first and then red over it. Or I can mask it and try not to put anything over anything, but I don't know how well that's going to go. We'll see. We'll see. We'll let it dry. We'll worry about that.
Okay. So, sorry, I, um, the heater's running, so after I've done wet sanding, it takes like six years to turn off till it gets warm enough in here, so, uh, I just skip to this, I apologize, but, uh, it's time to paint this, I think, I'm not sure, still not sure, um, if we're gonna do red first, or green first, I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm gonna do a quick test on a couple of scrap things, see which covers each other better. I'm thinking red first, uh, since it covers the worst. Uh, green usually just, you know, donezo. Uh, and I'm also I'm glad I looked this up before I started getting carried. Oh, it's still dripping. Just hit it with the heat gun. Dry it, must have a spot. But uh, the emblem's actually very gaudy gold, so. Um, Glad I looked, glad I looked. But yeah, I'm gonna do a quick test on my uh, test helmet, see what works, and then I guess you'll see what decision I make. Okay, as you can see, we went with red first. Um, did a couple tests. And the green just destroys the red. So uh, that's what we're hoping happens. Uh, the other way around, it just, the red kind of like, I don't know, gets weird with the green, makes brown, which makes sense. But um, this seemed like the way to go. Is it the correct way? I have no idea. I mean, they probably honestly masked it and did half and half. But my idea for doing it this way, one, it's gonna take longer to dry. It probably should since I'm gonna crunch, but I can do kind of a thicker green. So I'll have like where the paint are different layers. I'll have a nice line if my mask is okay that I can use for a guide when doing everything. We'll have to put this together and mask it all at once, for sure. Um, I did two coats red. I, I'm hoping that's enough. Red never really covers nice for me. Like I always feel like it's dark in weird places and not red. Sometimes it's just the light, I don't know. It looks okay. And that's what's important. Don't really wanna push it. There's still water dripping from back here. I think it's like in, uh, Free Command Center puts, like, places for, like, square magnets. I assume that's what they're for. I'm not sure. Maybe if that's where you want to put your latches. But they're too close together for that. So, I mean, it's not 100% sure what they're for. Um, but, yeah. Up in here, I missed a little bit on the underside. But that's going to be gold, so I'm not super worried about it. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. I'll let this dry a week mask. Uh, I believe this side is the green. So it's the opposite on the back. So this side is the red. Um, might do another coat on this side of the bottom, but yeah, we're getting there. Getting close to Christmas. It is the 5th. Uh, tomorrow's the 6th, my birthday. Sadly. Getting old. Then after that, we actually start celebrating Christmas. So we'll put the tree up and stuff, but I don't like to do that before my birthday. That's just me, I'm weird. Uh, so. Getting close, I think we can do the green next week. And let it dry and do the gold. And we, we can do the gold and maybe clear coat the same weekend. You have to at this point. Or I'll have to, I guess Christmas is on Sunday this year. So next week will be the 13th, the green. The week after, be the 18th or something. I'm thinking Saturdays, not Sundays. Do the gold. And Christmas Eve should be, Christmas Eve is Friday. I have a half day, so I could probably get 
clear on it. Finish it up. I'm really cutting it close because I still could edit the video and everything. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. We'll figure it out. Maybe it'll be a New Year's video. I don't know. I really wouldn't like to get it out on Christmas. I mean, it's just a goal. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what he can do. But yeah, we'll let this dry and next week we'll do the green. So stand by. showed me actually masking a uh, helmet. Yeah, some people wanted to see that. So there you go. This one's a little odd. Uh, it's half a helmet. I hope I got the line okay. It's kind of it's a little hard to keep it, you know, perfectly straight the whole way back to the bottom so it curves and it's a thing, but I think we got it. I think it looks good. That looks like half of it, right? I think it looks okay. So, um, I'm going to get this painted green, this side, and I think we'll be on track. Um, very, very interesting. I mean, it's very, I don't want to say it's, uh, I'm trying to think of a proper way to say this. The idea isn't crazy, but I like it. Does that make sense? I mean, just cut the helmet in half and blue and one together that's different color, red and green. <clears throat> I like they did the go on wingers, I guess. I guess that makes sense. It'd be cool to do that helmet. I think 3D Command Center does have the model for that one. I mean, I already have both of them made, but, eh, you know, you know, that sounds fun. So, but yeah, I used my fine line tape. I'm running out, I just, this made me order more. Yeah, cause I used a bunch on my time yellow that I did last week, but uh, this stuff is the best for super sharp lines and curves. Uh, so to make sure, so as I, as you saw, I just used uh, my, this is all Tamiya too. This is Tamiya fine masking, I believe, and then I used my Tamiya six millimeter in there, and then I just put some big old blue painters tape, and I make sure to try to just push it down on the line. So when I put down the fine line, I'll take this and make sure I kind of just push it down over top of this. Because you don't want to get it on the paint. As much of the sticky stuff that you can avoid not to get on the paint is ideal because sometimes if the paint's not quite cured enough or you push it too hard, uh, one, it'll peel off and take chunks out with some of the uh, spot putty and stuff. That's never good, especially at this state. Two, if it's not cured, it'll leave uh, kind of like, <clears throat> it's not a residue, it's actually like, kind of like an imprint of the sticky part of the tape into the paint, and that's no bueno. Sometimes the clear covers that up, but mm, that's what happened on my first Samurai Red. Uh, so I try really hard not to avoid that. Again, this has been sitting weeks, so I should be fine. Sometimes it still happens. Depends on how thick the coats are to get cured. Uh, so I'm hoping this would be okay. I'm trying to think of the last thing I did that uh, it actually happened on. I think my I think my go on silk uh, gold actually around the visor a little bit it did, but the clear took care of that because it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one I can think of, which it happens. It happens. I guess you could wet sand it super, super carefully and see if you can get rid of it, but there's a risk assessment there you gotta do, so. But yeah, I am, I'm clearing a helmet for customer right now. It's uh, on the last coat, so after that, we'll get this up and get this painted. And I got two more to get done for Christmas. So that's what we're working on. 
got up super early this weekend. It's like six. And I sat on the couch for like a half hour because it's cold. But I'm just rambling. Let's get this done. And we will hopefully be able to get the gold. Maybe, maybe I'll get the gold mask this week. I'm going to spray the gold next weekend. And I'm not as, uh, a little more, less gun shy with the metallics because they cover so well. So I just do one coat. Um, so when we do this trim, we might just do one or two coats and it might be good to clear next weekend. Uh, we'll see. I'm still on the fence about, I got some uh, 2K clear gloss from this crazy two part clear. Uh, I got like four helmets I'm going to try. This stuff's nasty and you can only use it um, for like 48 hours after you crack it. So I don't know. It's super expensive too, so I hate to waste it. I don't know. And people use it. I know people use it. I just need to use it myself. But I kind of want to do that. So it'd be a good weekend. It's like 60 degrees. It's supposed to be this week, weekend, I guess. Um, so maybe once the sun comes out, it's still dark out. We'll look into it. But there's my timer for my last coat of clear. And I'm rambling, and I apologize, but. What I'm trying to say is hopefully we get this done for Christmas, at latest New Year's. Okay, that's two coats. That should be more than enough. Uh, green covers really well. Hopefully our masking held in some of the odd places, like, um, like the crest on the back and like the back side where the part comes around. I don't know how to explain it. Like here, see, lift, masking lifted a little bit, but uh, for those areas, I tried to make sure I was going like this and not like in, so. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, if not, we'll fix it. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Probably should use a little darker green, but I think it's gonna look better. Uh, this is what I used on my go kai green, so it'll match more to what I have. So, you know, it is what it is. But I'm gonna let this dry a couple hours and I'm gonna get the masking off because I don't want it to leave any residue on the red like I was talking about earlier, so. Uh, I don't know what to do with it though. I can't set it down. Hmm, I might've caused myself an issue I didn't think about, but whatever, it's my problem, not yours. So next we will get the gold. If there's any major issues, I will show you. Um, little things we can touch up, a little bit of red paint, it's not a big deal. But the gold will be next. And then detail lines, and we'll be almost in the home stretch. So here's hoping our masking held. Okay, so this is just the back. Uh, so the line wasn't very straight in the back, so I masked off and tried to make it a little better. I think I did that, and I did the same with the front. I cleaned up some of the spots, and it cleaned up, but I just did that. I put a light coat of red on Thursday and a light coat on last night of red and i'm just nervous that it's not cured enough and we're either going to get lift or the uh, masking tape will leave indentations so i'm just going to try the back real quick um, get some gold on it let it dry for like 15 minutes and then get the masking off and see what it does because the back i'm not as worried about and it's easier to fix you know it's it's the lesser of the two evils if it gets screwed up. So uh, that's the plan. So I'm gonna put some gold on this and then I'll show you what it looks like after I get the masking off. And we should be good to go. There's a little spot here that maybe we need to touch up. Uh, I got a little bit of red blood over into the green. So 
It happens for sure, but I'm excited. It is, what's today? December 17th? <laughs> Give you play by play. Uh, so we're running out of time. I was thinking, I also got, um, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. I don't know why. I got some pinch stripe tape that uh, I've seen some people use. Um, so I was thinking maybe try try that instead of freehanding it. And actually just do like one line down the middle with the black. I think that might look cool. So that's, uh, that's a thing. Uh, people I talk to, they usually do that. Put the pinch stripe on after they clear it and then put clear nail polish over it. Um, so uh, it's possible, possible. Um, that's what the Chaotic Props does. I don't know. We'll get there. That might be a tomorrow thing. Because <laughs> I don't mind clearing the gold, the metallics so soon. Because I only do one coat, so they dry really quick. Um, or two, two coats. Not like three or four like the base coats. But yeah, that's where we're at. I'm sorry, I'm rambling a little bit. It's just cold and I'm nervous about this and trying to put it off. But the longer I put it off, the worse it's gonna get. So let's go. much called it it's kind of hard to see but you see a little bit right in here we're kind of want some residue the clear coat will take care of that just tiny bit in the back sometimes you get like big like strips but um yeah so we're gonna wait to do the front but here's the back like i said there's this little spot here and here that we could probably clean up um and the clear coat will take care of that residue so you can see it real good right there but the green's cured because you can see there's none on there just the red which is kind of what i figured like i said that's why we did this as a test so we can wait but other than that it looks good looking good um i might touch this up later today when i wait for this to dry so okay i guess we'll have to wait a couple more days to do the front Hopefully I can do it sometime during this week. I do have Christmas Eve off, so cutting it real close. I don't know, we'll <laughs> try. I'm trying so hard to get this done before Christmas. It's just, I don't know if I have time. I really don't, so. Without rushing, and then if I rush it, ruin it, then it's just, it's just gonna be a bad time. Like I was putting another coat of red on yesterday and I was outside doing it because I didn't want to take the cars out and it just started drizzling while I was middle painting. And I got droplets all over, and I thought for sure they were going to mess up the paint. But it didn't. It was all fine. So, But just stuff like that. Like, I was rushing. Um, but, yep, we will let the front dry some more. Cure, I guess. It is dry, but it's not even tacky or anything. It's just not cured completely. And then uh, it's going to be hard to mask around the emblem. So we'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll do a trail run of the um, pinch stripe on this. I'm not sure yet, but okay. chance that that masking around the emblem is good so we're going to touch some stuff up i tried this was i don't know i don't know i probably should have just maybe brushed it on and sprayed the trim but i'm adventurous i guess i don't know um and you can see the line where the paint is between the two i'll have to look in the helmet i don't think there's a line between um the half so 
we might have to sand that down or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see what it looks like when it dries. I'm going to try to get this masking off ASAP because, um, you know, I don't want it to mark up the red, which I really think it's going to do. I, it's another day. I waited a whole other day. So it's been three days since I painted it. I'm hoping that was enough, but uh, we'll see. All right. And now we'll put a clear coat on it. All right, that's four coats of clear. We will try the pinstripe tomorrow. Okay, um, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, got it cleared last night, should be good. We're gonna try something new for the lines. We're gonna try some pinstripe tape. Um, and some clear nail polish. This is how uh, Rob Northcutt does it. <clears throat> Chaotic props, um, check them out. It's good work. Uh, I've never done this before, so it could be terrible. Could be okay. Um, it should look pretty cool, I guess. I mean, do here and we'll do up there, I guess. I mean, like I said, I might test the nail polish down here on an inconspicuous area, just in case. But other than that, I think we're just gonna punch through it. Um, here's the front. She's pretty nice. I don't wanna handle it too much, more than I need to. I did do it like seven o'clock last night. It's only seven o'clock in the morning. So, you know, not the most amount of time for the clear to set. So we'll be careful. I can't tell. I don't think there is, but I don't think there's like a, a black detail line that goes down the middle of it, but I'm not against it. I think it might be like really cool to like do it like in between the other detail lines. And I was kind of hoping because I could cover up that little flub there. But I don't know. I can't not tell from the screen caps I have. Uh, I saw a random cosplay helmet on eBay. They didn't have it. And Anakis doesn't have one down the middle. So I can assume it probably really doesn't, but I don't know. I feel like it might make it look better. But we'll do everything else and then we'll decide on that. I don't know. But here goes absolutely nothing. Okay, we're getting there. Um, takes a little bit for the nail polish to dry, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Still haven't figured out what to do with like the ends, that, you know, stick over. I've been cutting them and I'll probably just go back and put a little bit more nail polish on them, I guess. Uh, but other than that, I think it's looking pretty mean. This does work so far. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see, I, I I still have the problem with it. Like, it just doesn't stick. And I guess that's what the nail polish is for. So, hopefully. Kind of working on an emblem here, but... Uh, one, it's pretty difficult. Two, gotta wait till the polish around here dries before I want to mess with that stuff. So, um, yeah, that's where we got. Back turned out okay. Still undecided if I want to do that line down the middle, but back looks nice so I'm, I'm happy with it I'm happy with it if it stays stuck on I'll, I'll be super happy with it uh, but yeah I don't know if I want to do that line or not I, 
I don't think it looks bad like this. But, hmm. Does that look cool with that line down the middle? I don't know. I wish there was a good reference for it. I tried looking for some HD Gokaiser episodes and I still can't really tell. It never really zooms in on them. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I honestly have no idea what I want to do. And I need to make a decision. It's Christmas Eve. I'd like to get this out tomorrow, this video, for Christmas special. Uh, so, I don't know. Let me think about it some more. I'm going to clear helmet while this sets up a little bit. And then, um, then we'll, put, we'll cut back when we start doing the visor. For sure, for sure. I guess at that point, we'll know if I did the line or not. I think it look cool, though. I do. I really do, but I really don't know. I really don't know. All right. I'm just rambling. Let's go. It is 10.30 on Christmas Eve, and we pulled it off. I'm still not positive about this uh, pinstripe tape. I need to figure out how to tack the ends, I guess, a little better. Visor turned out nice, I think. We had a little hiccup up here with putting the nail polish on to hold down the uh, tape, but kind of fixed it. Let's not talk about it. I was a little upset. Other than that, I think we're good. Now let's set and then uh, let's get to the spin around. Okay, we got it done. It is afternoon on Christmas Eve. Uh, and I surprised myself. I, I was really starting to think I couldn't get it done, but we did. And it turned out beautiful. I love this thing. I love the pinstriping. I go over, I need to work on how to work with it. But um, yeah, the pinstripe tape seems like maybe it's the way to go. <laughs> I think they were onto something. And the nail polish, I uh, had a little accident here. I got a little too heavy here and messed up the paint a tiny bit. You probably wouldn't see it if I didn't tell you. And I also touched it up a tiny bit. Uh, but other than that, man, what a wild helmet. I'd never planned on making this, but you know, I thought I'd do a little Christmas video. And just because I want to thank everyone for all the support this year. Um, we started with, I don't know, maybe like 75 subscribers and 30 people on Instagram. Um, back when I was just doing toy videos and stuff. And, you know, now we're over 1,000 subscribers and all that. TikTok's over 1,000. So we're getting there, and I appreciate everybody helping and supporting me and just talking to me about helmets and all that. You know, it's a nice little fun community we got here. So uh, I'm really happy about that. Uh, we got shirts. Um, if anyone's interested in a shirt, no obligation. I think they look kind of cool, but, uh, you know, you let me know. We can try to get you one um, figured out. So, yeah, again. Thank you so much for watching, not even just this one, throughout the whole year. Uh, we got videos lined up the whole way till May right now. Um, this one's kind of like skipping way ahead of the line just because I wanted it done. Uh, you know, can't do go cut Christmas. I went on any other day about Christmas. Um, so, yeah, happy holidays. I hope everyone has a great holiday. And um, see you next year.